from our sports where all things are good and comfortable. A couple of smokes as well. Zeus on Robs. This is mad. What is this by? He's going to sit close to ramp with the Zeus. We see him here with a Deagle a lot on low economy rounds because you could just spam it and do 50 and 2 and, and take down players with only a couple of shots. But with a Zeus in the pistol, that is a bit of a gamble. I love to see it. That's that's so weird. Like, I, I like it, but that yeah. means that, like, what, Chris Jay's dropped it over? Yep. That's so odd, man. Dropping a Zeus in the pistol. I mean, I want it to work because it's mad, but it, it definitely shouldn't. And I'll be kind of upset if it does, especially if Na'Vi never even hit the B site, which certainly looks like it's going to be the case right now. Going to be Na'Vi creeping in through Ivy and Main. Looking to be a bit of a pain here. Simple on the entry. Flash goes round. Carrigan's off the angle. Going to try and take that back up now. Spots Electronic, but he doesn't know that Simple is already out. Whoa. And Electronic dispatches of Carrigan with ease. Frozen is over here in pop while Rops is dropping in up above, but actually gets dropped himself by Flamey. And now they've just heard that USP. <laughs> Tried to go back up. He tried to, but he couldn't reach the ladder. And down goes Chris J. Oh. Frozen falls. And Na'Vi, they get the pistol. Despite that bit of a blunder from Flamey, that's an excellent start from Electronic. He picks up the P2K after that kill down Ivy and just tip taps Carrigan back and one more to follow. Na'Vi with a pistol round certainly bodes well, but... We've already seen this same situation on the T side of Nukin. Well, Mouse Sports, they four sport in the second, and they picked it up as well. So don't count them out here, Frankie. I'm going to count them out on this one. <laughs> hey, you know, that's uh, your funeral, and maybe Na'Vi's too. We'll have to see. It is my funeral indeed, actually, because we've seen Mouse, they've got the trademark Deagles in hand. Woxic doing amazing things on that scout in the, the conversion round in the first map. So maybe I'm going to be eating my words just about now. <laughs> So no. damn close, so damn close. I would have, the timing was almost there, Frankie. We all heard it, we all saw it. But sadly, the aim punch there was what betrayed Woxic. As he's about to nail that shot, his aim gets sent to the stars. Well, Stral is nowhere to be found. Uh, Chris J not going to give us a Bubsky S performance over here in Pop either. As it's a bit of a barbecue. Flamey burning him out, living up to his name. Carrigan does come in with a Deagle in response. And now we have this four on four. Smoke going into the A site and one down here at Ivy. That nade finds good damage. Simple goes through the smoke and actually wraps into CT. Mouse Sports are surely not going to be ready for that. So Simple could do a hell of a lot. He de deals with Woxic. I didn't know if Frozen was yeah. looking up or down then. Oh. I thought he was looking at the sky. That was confusing. Wow. It's not very blue out here in the train yard, sadly. It's a murky day. Oh, well, frozen. Murky waters as he sits up in heaven. But this man is looking to be anything but angelic. As the first drop, followed up onto by Boomich. And this round's over, Hugo. Yeah, I'm already starting to see good stuff from Na'Vi, which I liked, right? Like that good, that CT side was uh, was pretty decent uh, back on Nuke, but their T side is what fell flat with only two rounds. So kicking off with early T rounds, grasping the economy, uh, hopefully going 3-0 up here, considering Mouseports should be eco. You know, this is this is Na'Vi back in control of this map, at least for the time being. Remember, Dust 2 is the finale to this series. A very good map for Na'Vi as well. So the pressure is on Mouseports to take a 2-0 here. It's not going to be that easy, though. Yeah, Chris, I'm not sure what happened. He had a smoke for the molly. I think he's just expecting someone to peek him with that Molotov while he's burning. He's making a lot of noise and hoping that, okay, if I get peeked, I kill one, I die in the fire, that's fine. That's a good trade on a round like that. But, yeah, never to be peeked, and instead he just gets uh, roasted. 2-0 for Na'Vi, and the USPs are out and about. Oh, it's a classic. I wonder if that's a, a tactic that Chris J used from like his mentor, uh, Parler Gilroyson, actually. I think I've seen him do that, that Molly Strat in pop before. Uh, we got a little stack here. That's pretty, uh, well, I was going to say pretty cool. It's just like four dudes standing together having a good time. Now, are they going to continue to have a good time? That's the problem, right? Electronic is here. And... He's going to get flashed in by... Oh, goodness. Oh, this, got two playing this, is gonna, this is going to be rough. Flash goes in. No peak yet. Now they're all on the angle and they're like, ha, ha, yeah, we dodged the flash, but that might not matter. That might not matter. Oh, goodness. Well, they do get one. It's nice. Now they dismantle that they swarm, they group up, but you have to run the gauntlet versus electronic and he's not going to let you retrieve this rifle. Down goes the stack and it's only Rops left. Eagle in hand, 1v4. Pretty tall odds stacked against him. 
I love his deeg. That's the code red right there. Let's see if he's got any agency in this round. Navi is stalling, so Flamey ooh, could go grab that AK-47 off the body of Simple, upgrading from the SMG. But now they know exactly where he is. Bomb dropped, smoke down. Not the best smoke. If anything, that's like a walkway for Rops to get out into pop, or at least that side. But, of course, he doesn't know that no one from Navi lurks there. Not keen to rush this one as the bomb plant eventually comes through. Another on top of the train. Maybe he spotted it. Maybe it was called, but it's now been put away anywhere. I'm pretty sure someone will have said that. With a player in heaven and another one on the wrap round to deny a save. This is a done deal for Rops. He just doesn't know it yet. It's all about how many can he take down with him. And honestly, he's buying up next round anyway, so this Deagle save won't really make a damn difference. He's hoping that someone hunts him and he can get an AK instead. And he's just going to run into the site. Nice shot. Takes down Flamey. No time for the bomb. He will perish. But that's a good round for Robs. He does some damage. He puts Na'Vi only on two surviving. Uh, so technically not too profitable of a round for them. But they don't need it to be. The money is in high supply for Nartus Vincere as it is for Mouse Sports. Carrigan coming back in with an Org. This is a bit of a classic. We love to see him on back Ivy in Old Bomb with this weapon scoped in towards the site. And of course, the Orb out on Woxic as well. I want to see if Woxic can keep up his nuke performance because he was looking good there. And uh, Simple hadn't really had a lot of time to like get stuck in with the Orb yet. You want to catch Simple as he's approaching that that near demonic form that we're used to. You know, you don't want to let him get into his final stage of evolution before you take him on. Moxic, he's posted up over here towards main, Frozen this time down in a pop. That molly forces him back, but Frozen, living up to his name, isn't going to melt under the pressure of that Molotov. And He's allowed to stick around here. Carrigan, close to the smoke, dealing with electronic. That's the Ivy player gone now. While this is happening, Flamey and Boomich are slowly but surely looking to get a bit of progress in at B, and they actually get spotted, or at least Flamey does. Rops here as well, and oh, Boomich saw him on the ladder, definitely did, but he gets flashed by his teammate, oh. almost a disaster. Chris J flashing over in the meantime leads to Rops going down. Chris closing the distance, deals with Boomich, Frozen's up through pop. This round is chaotic. Frozen now is either the thing that makes or breaks this round. What? Oh, there's the flick on a Perfecto. That's what he needed. He was getting wrapped. And now he's got this bomb trapped outside of B. They boost Simple up to try and deal with Frozen. But he's hidden back in the showers, raining down death right now. Flamey falls and Simple down through Pop Dog. Bomb on his back, 20 seconds left. Carrigan, long distance uh. shooting, and he's going to pick it up. So Mouse Sports, they get that first round on the board here and now, nice and early. Oh, that's excellent stuff. That's like so akin to what we saw yesterday from Bubsky and S Tag, you know, climbing up the ladder in Pop Dog, being a, being a nuisance, getting in the back line and cutting off the bomb. Even though, you know, the bomb had already made its way to B Halls, Mousesports had that info. They'd won the first fight, or the, sorry, they'd lost the first fight there and therefore rotated t uh, double players into B. Na'Vi knew they were walking into a stack. They tried to escape through Pop Dog. It gets denied by Carrigan. <laughs> Messy, but he gets the job done. Na'Vi calling out their first pause early into this map as well. They know their economy is also on the line. Simple getting gifted an orb. There's not a lot they can buy up around it. A couple of guns at most. So Na'Vi already looking to put that orb in the right hand. Simple last round was setting up flashbangs to try and help out his pop player of Boomich, who was attempting to burn out Frozen, but unsuccessful thanks to his smoke. So the early utility really found nothing. And if anything, it came back to haunt Na'Vi later with a ladder flank. So let's see if Simple goes a little more aggressive and tries to take kills away with this AWP. He's moving up Ivy earlier. Woxic, early rather, Woxic is holding the line with his orb. Very standard ang angle for Woxic. Carrigan close towards t -Corn as a result. Simple's going to get run boosted in. Hello. Over he goes. Woxic on the other side. And a smoke down. And no show. To Simple and Moxic just yet. Perfecto. Oh, not ready for the repeat from Frozen. Now that you've seen Frozen, though, in main, you know that Pop is likely clear. This is normally his domain. 
He dropped down into it, but he follows up with a nade, and so that's going to send them packing from Pop Dog. Still with this 2 2 split for Maus, but they're eventually approaching the kind of timeline where they reconsider that and they move Chris J back in through CT to hold on to Ivy. That frees up Frozen and Woxic to hold on to Main and Pop. Ooh, we're going to need to see something special here. Frozen close, playing almost in like this anti-flash with Woxic drawing the attention away. And then Frozen close oh. by, but Simple is ready. Fast on the trigger. Woxic plucking Boomich out of thin air. 30 seconds now for Simple if he wants to have a chance in this round. And he's leaving the bomb. He's running for the hills. He's getting away. He's holding on to the orb. So Mouse Sports, they respond with a second round. That's a heartbreaker for Simple as well. That first player who jumps through the air, crosses in main, and walks it kills. Clearly must have got the info uh, onto, onto that close position for Frozen because Simple immediately repeats it. Or maybe he's just very aware. That's also an option. But yeah, it seemed like he had that information and one trade from Simple, but unfortunately not enough. It's one of the two kills Navi get in the round. And right now they are falling silent since their early three. The money... Matching that as well, 2k a player with the exception of Simple. And yeah, definitely Flamey saw Frozen up close, especially with his barrel poking out. Great shots from Carry. You mentioned that he was looking good uh, back on Nuke. We didn't really need him to do a whole lot with the AWP, but here he is coming alive at the right time. The Simple solo saved AWP with no cash in the reserves has to do it all here if Na'Vi want any chance. It's pretty much the right round to hit B, send Simple flying down the ramp, or have him holding upper to assist on connector rotates. He might actually get a peek in here. Rops is playing aggro on the rafters, but not swinging just yet. Let's see how patient he is. No utility at all for Na'Vi. And of course, you know, if Woxic takes a shot, regardless of hit or miss, Rops can peek off the back of it. So it's down to whether Simple continues to hold this line. He has repositioned the barrel. Oh, it's going to give him away. Luckily enough, Flamey takes the shot in the legs. Rops peeks out and kills the one man with the armor. Orp traded over to Boomich and Rops falling off for a second. He gets traded after one more, but he set his team up for success in a four on three. Is Boomich going to try the shotgun drop? That's what I'm wondering. No, he decides against it. He was walking towards Pop Dog. I thought it was with purpose, but I think that's pretty ballsy. He takes it back over towards B. Chris Shea and Woxic still here. That AWP ready and waiting in Woxic's hands, and it's always so scary when he's the man with it. Pretty big boots for Boomich to fill. Oh, here comes the push. Chris Jay's heard the footsteps. Missed shot from Woxic, and uh-oh. Now, he could be a bit of a liability, but Woxic always been able to save the day. Double kill, still alive, and oh, Woxic with three. P2K, he holds on to B, single-handedly misses with the AWP, but the fact that they're armorless, it isn't eco for Na'Vi, means he deals with them brilliantly, and that's always the danger, right? No matter if you're getting a couple of kills here and there, you don't have the right equipment to sustain that kind of fight, and so Woxic swapping out to the sidearm, pistol whips Na'Vi out of the round. Yeah, this is like uh, this is like the 1v1 we had yesterday between uh, Nork and uh, Alexi B, maybe, on, on the B side of train. The lack of armor for Chris is also a problem. He has no hel uh, helmet, so dinked immediately by Perfecto. Wow, talking of Amicia, look at this play from Na'Vi. They've finally done it. We're waiting for the quick A rush, and the results are there. All it took was guns in their hands and bullets in the head of Mouse Sports. Frozen whiffing the spray, and with that, the round might follow in the favor of Na'Vi. Nice shot from Rops, but is it all too late? You can see Navi are already fanning out towards that B-bomb site. Robs is trying to rotate, but they're already here. Simple hunting them down. Robs knows he can hear them inside a B, but he has his back turned. Oh dear, almost a whiff, but luckily a knife in hand. Robs can't react in time. Simple hunts down the AWP and saves it for himself. Big play from Navi. Yeah, they'd had enough of waiting around Harry and going for these split plays on the A site or grouping for B executes. They just had to have the utility, right? Molly on the bomb train forces, you know, lots of players into the open. Boomich getting that kill as the smoke on Ivy appears. Great entries from Na'Vi. Are they going to do it again, though? 
they throw the same utility and they try and make it look like they're going with the same pace, but they're, but they're not in this round, right? They're starting to actually clear outside of B. So this might just be a B play, especially with Flamey dealing with Rops down towards B ramp. Molotov gonna force Frozen back out of Pop Dog. Once again, he's given a little bit of room here. Might be wondering why he drops the smoke, what feels like early, even though he's fine. It's not uncommon for as that Molotov finishes, like the moment it finishes, teams then try and immediately drop, expecting you, you know, to be ready with some kind of utility there, or like we see Frozen doing, like stood with the smoke out. So they try and catch you. You know, plus you think about someone like Alexa B yesterday, where he just hops down through the Molotov. I love that play. The, when you drop in your teammate's molly, it's so smart. Obviously taking less damage than your own and the last thing your opponent's expecting. So many genius ways of taking Pop Dog. I mean, if you want to see more of that Astralis game, yesterday versus Fnatic is certainly worth a rewatch, but right now we might see a little bit more from Mouseports in this one. Paragon in the corner, letting one cross and Boomich going down. He's getting pinched from Ivy though, and now the rest of the Olaf players are just waiting for that flank to come through. Electronic needs to pounce right here, right now, and he does, leaving the orb alone on the site. Rotations coming in from the CT spawn, and out the connector is Chris. Woxic bested by Simple's AWP in the face. And Chris, he's come very quickly off of B. Perfecto oh. spots him and Simple swings wide, swapped out to the AK for great success. That bomb almost gets stopped with eight seconds to spare. That could have been the round from Frozen. Low HP on the plant of Perfecto, but it's not going to happen. And neither will this clutch, surely, especially with flashes like that. Frozen might have to fall away and live to fight another day. That's such a shame for Chris J, right? Like, I, I love the way that Chris J, I, like, we all know what he is capable of when he's just fragging out. But so often you'll see him try and win a round just through outbraining the opposition. And that's exactly what he was trying to do there. He tries to play the timing, like, knowing there's going to be about eight seconds as that bomb tries to go down in the A bomb site. And so he wraps around the back of Brown. He's trying to wait for the plant, but he just gets seen. Like the, the leg of him as he gets behind the train is spotted by uh, Perfecto, as you say. Uh, and then they're homed in on him, ready to go. So yeah, shame to see it fall apart like that, especially with the kills coming through. Obviously, simple besting Woxic helped massively there in terms of actually getting Na'Vi into the site in the first place. And I bet for these folks, they're pretty happy that Na'Vi were able to pick that one up. Just the electronic peeking around the corner again, showing his, uh, showing his smile. Na'Vi... Got a reason to smile. They're back in control, not just of the map, but the economy as well. Malsports are broke. Rops has got the Zeus once more. Chris is going atop the trains. He's going to get spotted and drop off. Electronic leading the hunt, and he's taking down the one man with armor and the SMG saved from the last. Chris is hiding in the smoke, but as that fades, he'll be up on the chopping block. He's going to try and play ahead of it, get aggressive. Caught now in sandwich with the wrap from Boomich. He is removed. Simple holding the flank. And no stone unturned here for Na'Vi. That Zeus looking like it's going to have very little effect, if anything. <laughs> Coming down the pop, oh, Carrigan, no. he almost has a chance to kill Simple on low HP. Rops is waiting for someone to come up the ladder, but no mistake being made here from Na'Vi. They are not going to fall for that one. Who's Beautiful. more patient then? Who's more patient? Let's see. Rops. I mean, you've already waited a round, right? Like, what's an extra 40 seconds? See, Flamey has nothing to lose, right? I, I know he's a Mac 10, but he'll probably want to upgrade that going into a rifle round anyway. So there is a world where he can go up the ladder and, and not really care about the result, but not today. And sadly, oh my, that is... Oh, we love this camera yeah. angle. We love this one. They hear the ladder and they take him down. No Zeus antics for now. It will happen eventually. Can't stop the inevitable. That's Ross' second time with it. Both times Navi have gone A. Third time. Third time's the charm, boys. It's going to happen. Excuse me, um, fans, dude, put your shirtless. clothes on on camera. Show it up to the broadcast with no shirt on. Nice necklace, I guess. But I mean, like... he's hiding his nips with his arms. He's got an arm <laughs> bra going on. But I'm sorry, sir, if I'm not allowed to, you're not either. Oh, dear. Bad. Oh, perfecto. 
fast out of Pop Dog. He took the spawn. There was no one there this time. Frozen was too busy watching main and trying to save his teammate late to the party, but in with double trades. And he's even going to go aggressive on 10 points of health. Big risk for Frozen, eventually realizing and backing up towards the bomb train, using that e box smoke to his advantage. Narva, you have slowed down. They're checking close. Flamey seems to suspect, and rightly so. If only he was a few seconds earlier. Chris is tucked in heaven. This is such a good position for holding that one pot player down while not being exposed to anyone else. There's even a player on the bomb site. I don't know if he saw Electronic there, but Electronic is creeping closer, finding Woxic down old hell. He even escapes as well. Yeah, they're still creeping forward and simple. Oh, no. Oh. Chris J. I'm so sorry, man. He's just a little too wide, and he was spotted by simple. Now frozen inside of the bomb site, desperate to reclaim that lost man. Rops is still all the way back in con. And leg. Uh, oh, simple. Oh, leg. Simple. Behind you. Oh, oh, oh no. Baby. Frozen. There's one. But electronic trades just in the nick of time. Bomb now planted. Flamey spotted in Pop Dog. They know that. The other man is inside of the site, so Rops has the information. He knows what's going on now. He's just got to hit the shots, and Electronic swings on out, secures it with a triple Na'Vi, 7-3, to three, and you can see why Train is a good map for them. Great attempt from Frozen. Look at these fast flicks that he's been, been providing in this series so far. But I love the slowdown for Na'Vi, right? Once they get into that three on four, they just kind of wait and sit in the yard. Mousepuss don't want to peek because they know that how, how many players could be outside for Na'Vi. And so kind of just tuck into spots. Chris gets caught from E-Box. Simple spots him. He doesn't see the feet of Frozen on the site, but luckily Frozen's too low to actually kill the planter. There's a world where he wins a round off the back of that play. But uh, yeah, 10 points of health, player on the bomb plant, gets off it, one bullet is all he needs, and it's gonna break the money of Mouse Sports here. Back to Deagles, we've seen them do this before though. Unlucky. Get smoked off over an Ivy as they stack two players Ooh, up. Ideas. Carrigan's going to get thrown up on the boost. Flash goes over. This is not an angry or checking, surely, right? Electronic swings out, does get blindsided. Chris J tries to go through to capitalize and ends up giving up his life. Carrigan with the Deeg. What can he offer us now? He's going to reposition safely back into the bomb train. A bit more safety here for him. And safety's off, jury's out. What can Carrigan do here? Ultimately, not going to be a hell of a lot. He gets taken down by Boomich. And now for Frozen and Rops, these two are going to struggle to play into this one very much. Looking like it will just be uh, exit frags from our sports. That's if they're allowed. Simple's hunting. Rops is looking the wrong way. Oh, that's a lovely little spot tucked in. Now. Swing is going to work wonders. Oh. AK dropped. He can't go and retrieve that because those lines are being watched by Na'Vi, but that's a great kill from Rops and Frozen. Oh, he's got so much more. He told Rops to tuck because he's got a double. They oh. line up and Frozen might find a third. This round is still winnable after all. Is, is there time? I don't think so. And with that kill going in the way of Perfecto, this one is done and dusted. But all the kills for Mouse Sports. Talk about exit frags. When Frozen was beginning that long rap, I was like, wow, this might be a bit underwhelming. But no, he waits and he lines them both up. That is unreal. Patience is a virtue. And patience is something this guy is high in supply. Look at that. He's like, oh, I ain't missing this. Boom. There's one for the highlight reel. Clip it. <laughs> I knew we'd get a cheeky yeah, laugh from Chris. Of course. Oh, man, you gotta love Chris J. Wow. Na'Vi, though, okay, yeah, they lose all their guns, but they still win the round. They still have the money for reinvestments. Flamey, he's been taking this orb over simple in some of these rounds. Uh, you know, typically in the post plants, have been swapping out. And uh, that's interesting to see. He's going to get dropped by the Rops, though, above the train, close on B, and doubling down. Nice start. That's going to leave Na'Vi in such a rough spot. Train is a map where you, you really just struggle at getting out of these three on fives. If you lose early gunfights, especially when it's not like, you know, you're rushing A, so at least you have some position 
you have some control and you get players out Olaf or towards the E-Box. No, Na'Vi is still in spawn and they're two men down with only two bits of utility. Like this is this is the worst case scenario. Uh, so there's really not a lot you can do. Mouse Sports can fan out a bit. They have control on A, they can play double B and the orbs are split. There's three of them now for Mouse Sports. Like, boy, oh boy, it's getting worse by the second for Na'Vi. And these are the rounds that I just don't know how you're supposed to win with how well Mouse Sports can trade in this site. Smoke down the ramp can give Na'Vi a chance, but they're just going to go in dry. Simple gets legged, but they will be able to cross to the site. Yeah, they are closing the distance. They're looking to deal with these players out from Khan as they get up through the lane. Carrigan smoked off now. Going to try and play around it. Flash goes high. Carrigan goes through. Catches Perfecto. Does get traded by Simple, but it's still a huge advantage for Maus. And now that they've dealt with Electronic, Simple is left in a very, very rough spot. 1v4. He needs the kills. And Wok6 holding down the angle. It's four on the board for Maus. As they finally piece together a round, they're going to uh, be in high spirits after that one because that's pretty one-sided there. And a bit of money now banked on up, which can make all the difference, really, between just getting dictated to at the end of this half and having yourself, you know, in that, like, 11-4 scoreline and actually being able to recover. Not just the money, the equipment. They saved three orbs. I thought they picked it up because Rops got tagged and he had an orb dropped at the bottom of ramp from Flamey. I thought he'd trade it back out. Like, again, it could be a communication issue, but I don't think so. More likely than not, they chose to save it. We saw Astralis do that yesterday with two orps on A and S-Tag running the third orp on B. That was, you know, in overtime when they had the money, but that's kind of crazy to see. So yeah, let's let's see how this goes. I'm all for it. Carrigan, please buy armor. Please. Come on, Carrigan. Realize. Realize. Not like this, Carrigan. Not. Legend, tell him. So no. please. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Just need someone in Twitch chat to just remind him of that, boys. Oh, I'm worried, man. I don't think the messages are getting through. Maybe if we say it really loud, Carrigan. He's not hearing. He's not uh -oh. listening. And here's simple down through pop. Rops opens up with a kill on a flamey. Maybe this no armor's not gonna matter after all. We're gonna have to wait and see. Simple. Faking the ladder noise, trying to bait a peak. Double orb set up, aggressing in through B. This is very unorthodox. Yeah. Boomich on the other side. Ox are going to take this first shot. Ooh. It misses. Rops follows up. And that double orb at B sends Na'Vi packing. Simple now. Out from Pop Dog, sneaking into the front line. Spots frozen, but that information goes both ways. And Carrigan up on top of the train. He gets taken down. Simple with the kill, but it's still a two on four. Overwhelming odds stacked against Na'Vi. Perfecto and simple. Gonna have to fight tooth and nail back into the round, but look at Frozen. Look at this rap that he is embarking on right now. He could shut the whole thing down. Simple gets another. Frozen might have just missed the timing. I think he heard the footsteps. I think he knows as simple getting dealt with and now just perfecto they fall and it is a fifth for mouse sports frozen got yoinked as well he didn't get that last kill chris took it away he took both down olaf from back ivy carrigan is actually just playing massive 400 uh, massive brain 400 iq chess because he got killed by the orb he knew it was coming no armor needed wouldn't have made a damn difference of course not but uh double up on b halls I've never seen that ever in my entire life. And hey, it works wonders. Woxic misses a close shot on Boomich. Rops bails him out. That's a nice little setup. And, and that elevates Na'Vi's pace into the A site and into what? The third orb. They're finally going to get rid of one of them, though. It was about time. They're against pistols. Ooh. Ooh, that one tag. I think Oxic would have heard that. Now knows that there's a man still aggressing in through IV. He's got that information. The rest of Na'Vi are outside of B. They just want to go for the bomb plant. They lose Simple. His whole job was just to keep players over towards A. And while he has lived up to that, with him now falling, these rotations are going to come in very, very quickly. And with Chris J donning that AWP, as this Execute looks to come on in, even if they get into the site, Frozen will just rush on in, likely to join up with Rops. Chris J can rotate in and watch Connector with the AWP. And they just collapse into Na'Vi. There's no way out of this one, guys. It's a sixth round for Maus. And this is where, like, you know, suddenly this 8-4 this scoreline that looked like it was going to be very, very one-sided can be split right down the middle, thanks to that little resurgence from Maus when it mattered most. 
Yeah, and this is kind of what we saw in the first half of Nuke, right? Na'Vi were in full control. They had a really good t uh, CT side. And then Mouseports won that one eco where Woxic finding four D kills. And that just flipped the script. That gave Mouseports the crucial bit of money to actually get seven at the end of their T half. And the same things happened here. Na'Vi in full control. Like, don't get me wrong. They're going to win the half. This is excellent. This is great for Na'Vi. But it could have been so much more. And yeah, it's, it's a bit scary. Mouseports finding what could be a fourth round in a row near the end of the half. Back to the triple orb. It was by design. And let's see what they can do with it. I actually love this idea. Like, I, I'm not against it at all on a map like Train, where, where your inner player, you know, you could just play safe and, and let them into the site, try and get one kill, fall off, reposition. You don't have to play inside of B and, and fight to your death and just get traded after one like so many B anchors do. So passive play for Robs, playing for the retake, and that's more than likely where we'll see Mouse Sports in this round, considering Na'Vi are grouping five towards B. They've not done a proper five-man B execute yet, and even though Mouse Sports haven't rotated one over, uh, this is all going to be very telegraphed, and they're going to be ready for it. Yeah, Rops kind of needs one though, right? Like this triple AWP in the retake, not what you want whatsoever. That Molotov gonna force the peak from Perfecto, but Rops just misses the timing there. It's actually Chris J to take the advantage. And so now like this triple AWP, even though it's not ideal, you're still able to start to move in, feeling kind of confident. The flash goes in, no peak on the back of it. Simple, gets information, but Flamey's gonna snipe the kill away from him. Closing the gap, simple, Ooh. quick flick to find Rops. This bomb has to get planted, 20 seconds. And Na'Vi using all the time they can. Now start to plug in those numbers. Frozen, closing the gap, trying to get stuck in. Simple on the bomb train with Electronic nearby to help him. And a oh quick one tap from Frozen. Electronic and Flamey now. Tucked away. They hear a man on the ladder. Bomb ticking. Electronic in with one. Frozen falls. Shots baited from Carrigan, who drops on down. Electronic Ooh. with the flick. Woxic deals with Flamey. It's down to the 1v1. Electronic is low, but Woxic running out of time. Electronic playing with his food. And Woxic's going to get the kill. There's enough time for the defuse. Double it's going to be it. close with the double tap, but I think he's got it. Seven yeah. for Maus. Now let's see if they can keep this little mini comeback they've stringed together going. Yeah, lots of utility as well. Smoke flash combo. We got P250s dropped over to Rops. Carrigan's going to keep his. Rops holding on to upper B, but not for long. Simple domes in with the USP. The double peak from Na'Vi gets spotted. That might elevate Mouse Sports' pace towards that A site, knowing that there's a heavy inner setup. But Chris has burst on at a range. Probably not what he intended. And removed by Simple as well. This is a hugely dominant pistol for Na'Vi right now. Carrigan finally turns the tide, but only uh, for a second. Boxing in a one on four that's just not going to happen. Two from electronic, two from simple, and Navi take nine. Oh, we got the four spy though for Mouse Sports. They're uh, they're looking to rise to the occasion like they did back on Nuke. If you remember there, that four spy was enough to start to get them back into the swing of things. Let's see. If history is going to repeat itself, or if Na'Vi are batting down the hatches and are ready for what's about to come their way. It's a lot of flashes, a lot of smokes in towards the A site, and Carrigan barreling in first. Bit of a signature move for Carrigan, but this time gets cut down by Boomich. And now Mouse Sports, the rest of the gang, trying to trickle in behind their IGL, and one of them has. Like, Chris J has listened through and through, but he's got the bomb, and he might be about to lose it here. That there is a disaster. Electronic gets tagged by the scout of Woxic. But that is grim compensation for not just finding yourself in a three on five, but also having that bomb now under Na'Vi control. You'll see Rops on the minimap looking to try and get in through B to come in on a flank. Problem is, in a five on three, Na'Vi is still going to have a man floating around here, and that's Perfecto. Flamey deals with one, follow up from Walk 6, so he has managed that at least. Now, what more can he do? The answer might surprise you. It's nothing. Simple cuts him down. Rops. Ooh, does deal with Simple down here in pop. But now another man, another challenger. This time it's Boomich stepping up to the plate. How many wall bangs have you got, Rops? He can't afford to take a dry fight, so he's got to win it creatively. And now there's even more bodies in, uh, in pop. What's he going to manage? What's he going to do? 
Probably just saying words, and then he's going to die. But let's, I'd love to be proved wrong. Yeah, I, there's no way you can you can win this if you're Robs, right? On the ladder, we're going to be fully inaccurate. Yeah, even a leg, that's all you need. 24 HP to zero in an instant. It's Na'Vi with 10. At least finding the rounds they should early on in this half. Pistol and the follow-up. Not letting mouse bots get away with all too much. We're waiting for those gun rounds, and well, they'll come through after one more eco. Oh, I like this as well. Is Perfect Perfecto going to just play pistol? Yeah, this is always nice for building a bit of money. No, he buys a rifle last second, but yeah, not really a worry. Just that in case mouse bots do force up here, but uh, yeah, train's not a great map for pistols anyway. The exception of the Deagle. But a couple of flashbangs from Mouseboss to burst into this A site. Frozen lining one up from the spawn. Chris above Pop, setting up Rops. And there's the right click. Boomich will dodge it. And Rops is still going to kill him. That's crazy. SMG dropped down there. Rops is very low. But now Mouseboss is going to flood out onto this A site. Electronic, he's already spotted the bomb. He's already cooling for those rotations. The inner push is in from Simple, but it might not be needed. Electronic finding two. And Frozen with just a Glock is going to get made quick work of by that flank. I, uh, 11 rounds to seven for Na'Vi. And this is it, Mouseports with the buy. Woxic even having the AWP as well. So everything available for both sides. Yeah, it's a little bit scary because back on Nuke, you didn't have like the terrifying duo of Electronic and Simple. And here, that's uh, not really the case. They're very much present. They're very much laying down the pain. Simple and Woxic might be about to have a bit of a head-to-head -head here. Woxic's home did. Fires the shot off through the smoke. Gives up the orb. Did find itself over towards Ivy. And it's going to stick around. Now, in the meantime, Rops is down here at the bottom of B-Ramp hiding in a smoke. Perfecto's got his attention split between upper and lower. And with Flamey having just rotated away, that's going to give Rops some passage into this B site. Now, with players already being in, this is going to prompt a bit of a rotation, not just of one player. You see Flamey moving around. Electronic briefly shifted out of position as well, but he's gone back since to Ivy. Rops, how well can he sell this fake? That's the... That's the oh, oh, no. oh, 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 uh, oh. Does he know? Uh, hang on. Hang on a moment. This is a problem for Chris J. Don't throw Chris J into the firing line. That's so unreasonable. Frozen and Woxic get a couple of kills, and actually, it might all be said and done. Perfecto now. 1v4. Deals with the first man in the form of Chris. He has Rops coming in through the back as well. Temporarily, there's a 1v2 at this site, but up the ladder and into Rops. This is he's just dodged it. Perfecto, the timing king. It's like he knows. Woxic's now in Ivy, but... Perfecto, back into T-Spawn, trying to stay alive, and he's just got round oh. the corner in time again. Perfecto has got this one. He's got the, uh, the egg timer out. Rops can wait for a flash if he wants to be patient. They have all the time in the world. Carrigan's got that last bit of util. Bye-bye, uh, Perfecto. Good luck here, buddy. Not going to happen. Perfecto, he never saw Rops in that round. Technically, not even then, as he got flashed out. But little does he know, he dodged him in every single position. And even though that information that for a second rotated Na'Vi towards B with two players, as you said, Flamey coming over, Perfecto pushes ramp. He gets the info and goes, okay, it's only a lurk. It's just a fake. It's actually an A play. And even though that was correct, it didn't really matter because Rops won his B pick and the rest of Mouse Sports traded really well outside of Ivy. Walks it with two orb kills from that position. That was a very messy round on both sides, but the result is there for Mouse and walks it quick flick to the leg of Simple. Players climbing on top of Red Train as well. Got to be very careful as Simple has the orb. He's going back in for revenge. Yeah, that's the CS equivalent of poking the bay, you know, like you, you haven't finished him off and now Simple is just angry. He's looking for this kill. Electronic going aggressive as well. Has Boomich alongside him just tucked into the corner now. Carrigan doesn't check for it and as a result comes to pay the price. Chris J out and dispatched by Electronic. Woxic, there's a man beneath his crosshair and he's not going to realize Frozen will bail him out. But it's still Na'Vi looking so damn good in this round. Simple, he eventually does get his revenge onto Wogsick. And Rops is kind of wondering, like, what the hell just happened? 
He was meant to come in to split the A site with the rest of his team, and he never even gets the privilege. Perfecto holding close. Box around the corner, and Perfecto is going to win out the fight. So it's 12 for Na'Vi. That was a partial investment around an AWP on Simple, and uh, they're able to get it over the line. Yeah, attack timeout. It's been some time since we've had one of these. Mouse Sports realizing this game may be slipping away from them with one round win in this half on their first rifle. Immediately responded by Na'Vi holding onto that outside sight. Could have been a very different round if Woxie got that opening kill uh, instead of just the leg. That is not a world that we know. Not out of the woods yet, though, Na'Vi. Mouseport still have more money to invest into this follow-up round. It's actually only going to be Deagles. They're saving a bit for a rainy day. 10k of equipment value. Na'Vi over double that. Fox's scout has been really good in this series, even if it is just tags. Back on Nuke, who's finding opening kills. If not with a the scout, then with the Deagle. Ooh, through the smoke, Frozen tries his hand. Flamey won't re uh, peek back into that fight, despite the smoke giving him the favor. Navi going to regroup back and spawn. Chris with the one bit of utility in this round, ready to flash his teammates outside of pop. They do have that position at least, Navi, with no one taking a spawn to get inside of it. Oxic, he knows, he's seen some stuff, but there's so many players on this line. No one committing to any fights, but once that flash comes through and Na'Vi and Mouseball start to flood out, Na'Vi are going to be ready to trade. Good flash, Carrigan with the spam, electronic re-peaking. He's going to take down a trade, and he's having a great game right now. Even knows that someone's behind the E-Box 2. Rops is gone, it's all on the scout, and only attack for Woxing, too little too late. Na'Vi with 13, but that was only an eco for Mouse Sports. We're waiting for the money to build up, and here it is. Yeah, I would kind of love to just see Mouse Sports, you know, like go for a B hit, especially when you think about the fact that a few rounds ago, Chris J and Rops were able to get into B and encounter very little resistance in the process. Right now, you know, they've been very, very fixated on getting past this A hold for Na'Vi. And I think, you know, you, you've got Electronic playing E box, you've got Simple with the AWP here. Like, the, 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 you know, you're, you're running into the brick wall almost voluntarily, it feels like at times. And oh, it's Whoa. simple. He's taken the orb over to B in this round. And Rops is on the receiving end of it. Now getting that kill, simple, going to leave. Just going to back away because he's very, very mobile with the orb. He wants to keep Mouse Sports guessing. He shows his hand at B. And I imagine we might see him vacate the site altogether in just a little bit. You can see him over towards Backtracks right now. Flamey, meanwhile, holding on to Ivy. Has Frozen and Woxic aggressing his way. If he gets Frozen, Woxic isn't close enough to get the trade. So Flash goes out. Oh, Flamey swings a little too wide. It does find himself in the firing line of Woxic. So the trade kills there at least. Chris J, is he going to spot the man up on top of the trains? That's Boomage. While all this is going down, there's a... Uh, an awkward little exchange here in Ivy, and it's going to be Woxic winning that out. Boomich is still here, still on top of the trains. Players have gotten by him. This could prove to be a blessing and a curse, as now he surprises Carrigan, but there's the trade from Chris, leaving Perfecto in the 1v2. He couldn't stop the bomb plant from atop the train. He'd have to fall off, so he looked elsewhere and at least got one kill, a bit of value from that position. But unfortunately, because of how the you know how Chris came out of um, the e-box side, he's able to cross into the site. So Boomage, he's saying, guys, I see nothing on A. I see no one. And Navi rotates through the connector and get caught by Chris's aggressive positioning. So that's uh, very unfortunate for Navi. But great work for Mouse Sports. Woxic even reading Boomage's smoke push on IV2. Finding two, same story for Chris. And uh, Mouseport's up to nine here. Facto will get away with the AK. No one close enough to take down that saving player. And Na'Vi, their money's there. They're going to be able to buy for sure into this round. Simple can even uh, get the orb with Kevlar. Nothing else. 
And he was the one to open up that round as well. So this will be one more buy for Na'Vi. Assuming Mouse Sports continue picking up rounds, this could be them getting back into this T side. If anything, this would be a great round for Mouse Sports to go for one of these fast plays, right? Get out main quickly, get those E-Box and Sandwich smokes down, fast flashes over the A site. Uh, assuming the spawns are favorable for them. They've been playing a lot of slow crunches on A. It's only going to be a nade onto the bomb train, hitting Simple in the chest, but no one capitalizing, no one committing. Simple even boosted up on top of the bomb train as well. I like this spot, holding for the pallet boost, but no one there for mouse They're barely holding on to T-Con. Carrigan gets the favor returned from a grenade. Mouse Sports just slow and steady, taking positions one by one. Great flashbang. Damn, that one's good. Rops is also shooting as Chris throws a flash. We've seen Boomich hear the click of the grenade and turn in the past. But in that one, because Rops is spamming through metal, Boomich never hears the, the flash leave the hands of Chris. And so fully white, good night. It's Mouse Sports with a man advantage. Smoke throw an Ivy side from Carrigan, but you'll note he doesn't commit at all. He immediately goes and rejoins his teammates over here towards B. So this is looking like a late B play for Maus. And only Perfecto here. Haven't really seen his metal tested over towards B just yet. With two players kind of passively back within the uh, the bomb site here for Na'Vi, the rotations are going to be fairly fast as this play looks to come in. Perfecto blinded, hop, skip, and a jump gets him across into the bomb site. Now what can he do? Smoke down. Perfecto. Ooh, there's so many bodies on the other side. Denies that bomb plant. Still alive, still a threat. And he might even live to tell the tale. He's been able to get away, at least momentarily. Rops is spamming the what? smoke. How is he still alive? How on earth has Perfecto overstayed his welcome? Chris J deals with Flamey, no. but Perfecto still putting up numbers. This bomb has to go down. And Woxic's going to find the kill. It's all on Simple. 1v3 denies the there plant. And that is the round. As long as Simple stays alive, and he does. 14 for Na'Vi, Chris dies after time. And that is such a way to steal a round from Maus. Perfecto with two, plays it perfectly. Simple denies the plant and Na'Vi. That is that is ace, man, to get that round falling in their favor. It's not just Perfecto sitting on, you know, sitting in the smoke and staying alive as well. The bomb flies forward. It's so deep. It's not like mouse balls can, you know, mouse balls can just walk into the smoke and grab it. It is on the other end of the smoke, in view of Simple and the connector players. Oh dear, mouse sports. They try and throw caution to the wind. They try and set Woxic into the A site quick, and he gets shot in the face by Simple's AWP. Rops. Oh, he had a chance. He had a timing. He had a couple. Boomish with grenades out, looking the wrong way, but he won't commit, thinking it's too good to be true, and maybe it was, but that could have been the refrag that Mouseports needed. The map hinges on this round right now. Their money is gone. They had to buy here, forcing round not only Chris's lack of money after dying post-round uh, post time, but also Frozen saving the AK against his will with zero loss. Carrigan... Spamming that Deagle as he often does, he will get one. Back into a 4-4, four four, but low HP and a quick cleanup from Electronic who moves closer. The spray transfer for a two. Chris is so low. Electronic, he is going to wrap the back of blue, and this is a big problem. Mouse Sports, they even need to move forward into this orb or wait as this flank comes into play. Electronic is patient, though, aware they could be holding this back line. He lets Simple take the next contact, and information he still has. Electronic might act on the back of that. Flamey spotting them on the site. Now Electronic will strike from behind, drops in a one on four for everything, and he's going to get nothing done. Flamey takes him down, and that is a pitch perfect round for Navi. A desperate Hail Mary out of A for Mouse Sports. But it's kind of sad that that was the first fast A we saw for them, and it was really just reliant on Woxic, uh, one man. There was no one following him out through that smoke, and Simple just decks him with the orb. Well, this is looking like it's going to be a three mapper. This is looking like we're going to get, end up going the distance. Na'Vi. Just one away from luck locking in Dust2. And there's Boomich with the opener. He certainly wants to get them there. Now, they do deal with these players at A fairly well, leaving themselves with the man advantage. But Simple, still a threat down here toward Ivy. And, well, oh. you blinked. You missed it. Simple's oh. swept this.